welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. <laughs> Singing away. In front of us we have the Texan X3. It's an FM radio with an MP3 player built in. Purchase this for a total of $32 off of Amazon. Yep, 32 bucks. Pretty expensive for what it is, but we'll get into it. Here's the box. Came in, Texan X3. I've been on a Texan collecting kick, and I was looking for an MP3 player uh, because I've been using this little guy. If you guys remember the, uh, I can't remember this, Quam, Q-A-M. <laughs> I got this for like six bucks. It's okay, it's been working, but it like, the speaker is pretty intense and it vibrates these these cheap buttons. And uh, yeah, it's it just doesn't fill the room really well. So I was looking for something a little bit better for my uh, classic radio playback. So I'm looking for MP3 players with a built-in radio. Um, here I got one. So let's uh, go over it. So there's a picture of it. And here's some emblems, FM. Now it's got an expanded band, Russian and Japan, which is pretty cool. I'll show that to you. MP3, WMA, WAV format. Uh, it uses micro SD cards, though this must be an older model. Hopefully they'll come out with a new one. Uh, this particular one only supports to eight gigabytes. That's gonna probably turn off a lot of people, but it is cool because I do have a lot of four gig, eight gig, two gig cards laying around. I mean, a lot, so I'm okay on that front. Um, USB computer speaker. Um, looks like equalizer, but I don't. I didn't see any equalizer setting there. I don't know what, what that is. Uh, easy tune mode. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks like a stereo. Uh, we'll talk about the stereo in a little bit. There's another USB uh, access to your SD card. More USB stuff. So, all right. Um, so Chinese, I think, mainly on there. Color choices. Yeah, you got color choices. Silver, red, edged, and then the black with a gray front. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's good on saying it. There you are. So they have the three colors, I believe. So there is that. More Chinese writing. Okay, well, let's get open this box and see what we get inside. Kind of slides open. Set the cover aside there. It's got like a protective sheet here. Okay, cool. Pull the radio, radio slash MP3 player out here. And we'll go over the contents of the box. It's held in by some styrofoam. It's a standoff piece. Step aside here. We've got some instructions, looks like. A cable. This was the bag holding the BL5B as in Bob battery. The non-compliant. <laughs> I wish it was the 5C, but that's all right. Okay, so we'll get out the box. And so let's see, we get the uh, ever popular warranty. This is a little different. Maybe because this is an older device, I'm guessing. They got a one year limited warranty through Kato. Okay, that's cool. So again, put that off to the side. We have the charging cable, mini variety. And then we have English instructions. Those are always nice. Yay! Instruction manual. So yeah, here's the feature list. If you want to pause and read, it shows you all the different things it can do. Blah, blah, blah. We'll go over them. Um, the big one was playing. All right, got to find it here. There, there's a section here. We got some information. Yes, frequency for the frequency nerds. There we are. So you can we can go to Russia, <laughs> 64 to 108, Japan, Japan 76 to 108, and then US 87 to 108 in Europe. So it's kind of nice that it has that. Um, it's a small speaker. We'll go over that. But it's pretty powerful sounding. Okay, and there's a little list of what it displays. So it's a pretty basic player. What makes this expensive, I think, is how it's built. Let me show you that. So let's get to the unit here. Here it is. Okay, I actually love the look of it. And we'll go over it here. Let's go ahead and do dimensions first. It's five inches long, two and three quarter inches high, and a depth of one inch. And for comparison, um, I brought out uh, the recently reviewed Q3. And yeah, you'd think. For the price, this is actually less money and does more. It actually has the FM radio with this little tiny wire, which is okay. Uh, but it has the ability to record line in, records the radio, has a microphone to record your voice, which works real well, by the way. Uh, and it has uh, the MP3 functions, and it also has A to B, which this does not have. So just want to put that out there. 
But the sound quality out of this is amazing, and the big deal is that this is plastic, while this is all metal except for the back. This is a thick, solid aluminum extruded case, which is pretty awesome. So that's that size there with the Q3. Here's a deck of cards. Give you an idea for size. All right. So we'll go over features of this Texan X3. Uh, nothing on the left here. Uh, top, we have the Texan name there, kind of like in a whitish color. Some Chinese writing. The antenna is pretty weak. It's a 12-inch antenna. Yeah. I mean, really, guys, I, I bought it for the antenna, like a nice telescoping one. But I guess I can clip in a little wire on there to get some better reception. I wasn't thinking that, but it sits flush, which is nice. And it doesn't tell, it doesn't uh, pivot. It just comes up and goes to about there. You can't turn it or anything. So, okay, uh, right side we have the switch. Um, it says off MP3 FM. We have the mini USB input for charging, accessing the SD card with the computer, and also using this as a computer speaker. Here we have a stereo headphone jack, which only works with the MP3 player, does not have FM stereo on the radio. No matter what I could do, I could not get FM on the radio. So another thing against it. On the bottom, we have the SD card slot that only supports 8 gigabytes. Uh, I did test it with a 16 just to see if it was a misprint on the website. On Amazon's description, it was not a misprint. It only does take 8 uh, gigabytes. Front of the radio, Texan logo. We have a mesh grill. There's a 40 millimeter speaker behind here, about an inch and a half. And I think there's a bass port right here because this thing sounds real punchy. I like it. Here we have a little LED display, volume up, down buttons. We have your back, forward, pause, play, oh, sorry, back, pause, play, forward. We have your numeric entry keypad so you can enter the song number if you knew what the song number was off the card or direct entry of the frequency on the FM. Here the repeat all or repeat once function there. And then we have the easy tune mode. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And uh, we'll go to the FM. And let me just turn it down. It's probably going to be jamming. Don't need a copyright. So let me extend my antenna. It's digital volume, by the way, too, if you saw that. Kind of reminds me of the ICR 110. So we're going to go ahead and show you the expanded band. So I think if you press and hold this, it cycles. 76 to 108. Let's go down to 64 to 108. Sweet. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, I don't know this will take, we'll do an easy tune mode and see if it finds anything in the lower band. Um, on the other radios, I was finding that, uh, what do you call it, that uh, NOAA weather band. I don't remember what frequency it was on. I think it was 74 or something, 75 something. So I don't know if it'll find it. It doesn't look like it's going to find it, but we'll see what it does find. So it's cruising along pretty good here. So I'm just going to use the 12 inch uh, whip here. I'm not going to put anything on it, I'm not going to clip anything to it. So we'll see what it can pick up. If you notice, it, it's a yellow, it looks pretty nice. And you have the battery indicator there. Like I said, this is solid aluminum. I think that's really cool. Um, this is like more of a designer piece. Uh, I think that's kind of neat. It's looking cool. Also, while this is scanning, talk to you guys. If you guys know of a cool MP3 player with an FM AM radio built in with it, you know, drop a note down there in the comments section, and I'd like to review it because I, I want a nice MP3 player uh, portable like this uh, with a radio with a normal antenna would be nice, not those little handle whipping, you know, strap tennas. Yay! <laughs> uh, so let me know because I'm definitely, uh, I will review more because I don't know if this is the answer, but this actually has, like I say, a cool look to it. And it might be functional for what I need for now. So let's see if this finishes up. All right, let's see if I found anything here. I'll turn up the volume. Got some static. Yay, static. Let's hit the next button to get to different channels. To where you needed a PhD to become a Catholic, or to become a Christian, or to become a follower of Christ. Now, one of the things I noticed when I was a Protestant is... God, I, 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 do you hate me? Do you not like me? God, are you not into me in this season? God... Oh, -ho. sorry about that. <laughs> Kids love play. Is 
so apparently the easy two more doesn't do real well picking up stations um, because I think if we go to Okay, so that's cool. You can pause with good. <laughs> I don't have to play around with the volume. So yeah, you can you can see it makes a little bit of a noise when you go up and down while it's on. It's not a big deal, but I noticed it. Let's go to the next one. So bring it twenty nine or drive home an all new Rust Arrow twenty eighteen Mazda CX. I was born yesterday, you have got me wrong. So I cut you off. I don't need your love. So the audio coming out here is really nice. It's punchy. Like I said, I think there's a uh, bass diaphragm there. It really has a lot of punch for a small little speaker. All right, let's play. Uh, so you can try all you want. Okay, so it passed up a rock station that I know of. Enter this that in. Was high. Oh, Jesus. Sorry about that. <laughs> it passes up more. See, once you know your stuff, it just put it in there. <laughs> so, yeah, just, just gives you an idea. What... That's new Taylor Swift delicate and new Halsey. I have to say, this is uh, radio is better than the Q3s. Oh, definitely has better reception with this little antenna. So, kill that. All right, so let's go ahead. The reason why I bought it was for the MP3 playback, so let's see what that sounds like. Put this down, and then we'll just, I think, kind of zoom this in, because on the back, oh, yeah, I never showed you the back of this radio. What's going on with Tatterbird? You forgot to show you the back. So <laughs> the back of the radio, uh, it's a little 12-inch antenna, as I showed you, um, is the battery compartment. As you can see, it's just black plastic. And this behind here is a uh, BL5B battery. Yeah, nothing special. Damn, little tab in the way. All right. So, yeah, that's that's the back. <laughs> that's the plastic. Everything else is metal, which is pretty cool. Except this is like kind of rubber feel, plastic rubber feel. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and go to the MP3 mode. Now, MP3 plays back in stereo, it sounds really good with the headphones. It's, it's amazing. So, for an MP3 player, it is good. Um, it's just you gotta be able to use eight gigabyte cards. Bass coming out of here reminds me of the uh, 880. <laughs> it's just shaking this thing. It's crazy. Miss Loreen Tuttle and I have been having a little argument as to the relative merits of... Having a little discussion... So, another thing I noticed... Whoops. 
I'm gonna try this. See if there's a uh... ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's a fast forward function. Real story of Cinderella. Very well. Cool. This is the main reason why I bought it for classic radio. I can play all my classic radio, which is awesome. CBS Radio, a division of the Columbia Broadcasting System, and its 217 affiliated stations present the CBS Radio Workshop, dedicated to man's imagination. This evening she would sit alone in the chimney corner among the ashes. Now it happened that the king of the land was giving a ball, and all the people of the radio are being forbidden his walk to the table that and preside and that and... And wept bitter tears. She knew that... Wait, the way you romanticists picture her, the poor girl needs an analyst. Oh. What on earth is she doing groveling around in the fireplace getting ashes in her hair? Nobody could ever be like that. Now, do you want to know what really happened? Well, I don't think so. It would do you good, Loreen. Facing reality, you understand. Well, this gal, Cindy, wasn't getting much of a break, but she didn't take it sitting down. She knew she had to play it smart. So when a rich man in town set out bids for a big wingding he was throwing, Cindy was all ears. I'm certainly glad you girls have been invited to Mr. King's party. So, yep, that's the main reason why I bought it. I love it. I get a little kick out of that little playback. So let's go over to final thoughts of this, uh, X3. Let me just turn this off. All right, so as you noticed, it was doing power saving. It was turning the display off. There was no function for me to do that, uh, turning that on and off, like the Q3. This does it too as an option, which is nice. So, final thoughts on this. Uh, if you're looking for a cool looking media player that's aluminum, I mean, I thought that was kind of neat. This is solid. I don't know how thick that is. It's pretty, uh, or a little bit bigger. It's like a eighth of an inch. It's just really nicely built, solid. I thought that would be really neat. It's got some weight to it, uh, so you know you have it. Uh, it sounds really good. The audio is amazing. Uh, it does have a few drawbacks. The weakness is that memory card. It only be able to go 8 gigs. Um, this display is pretty weak. You can't, it doesn't show the song title. It doesn't show any information. Um, you know, for the money, 32 bucks. Yeah, you can't expect much when they start doing this fancy aluminum and spending more of the money on the case than they are the electronics. But I'd like, you know, you guys to give me some heads up on some units if you, if you know of any that you like that's in this price range $30 or under um, you know definitely post it in the comment section I know there's tip deals and that but I was looking for a more dedicated you know simple radio mp3 player mainly is what I wanted I didn't need to have shortwave I wanted kind of a quality look to it also um, the tips are nice uh, but you know they're when you hit the buttons are pretty plasticky and they click really loud this well this one clicks loud too <laughs> um, I guess well this just has a little bit more punch to it on the speakers. Like I said, it has its looks. It's, it's a lot of looks. Is what you're paying for, I think, mainly on this radio. Uh, so, with that said, I would probably not recommend this for a normal player. I would probably just say go get this right here, uh, the Q3. Um, it's like its own competition. I don't know. I mean, I, I get it. I can see there's a size difference here. This is definitely more portable. Um, the sound is not as as punchy or as loud as this is. Um, some people, you know, may that may be a deal breaker for them. It's got a similar size speaker, but again, I think it has this base port here that you can't see. But this is just amazing because of its recording capability, dual folder setup access right here, and it just um, it does so much for a little less money. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're in the market, uh, but you want something that looks awesome, this has looks like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> And I like that. I think it is pretty cool. 32 bucks is a little towards the high end. I wish this was probably 25 bucks, but what can you expect, you know? So there it is, the X3. Um, take it or leave it. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to play with it. I think the, it plays my classic uh, radio shows real well, and it'll be a dedicated device for that. So I'm pretty happy uh, to have a little standalone device. And then I do have FM if I need it. Oh, stands up really nice, too. Um, so definitely for me. Is it for everybody else? Mm, probably, maybe. You know, it just depends on what you like. What you know, if you're a Texan fan, yes. 
If you're not a Texan fan, you're looking for an ultimate deal, you know, look in the market like this, or even something like this for six bucks, <laughs> this still works. This thing still rocks, but, uh, you know, it's pretty cheesy. And, you know, it looks kind of funky with the blue and black. I don't know, it's just kind of baby bluish. But, yeah, this, this definitely rocks the looks for sure. <laughs> All right, if you liked the video, big thumbs up. Hopefully I educated you on the X3, what it can do, what it can't do. Um, it's cool features. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Again, pretty basic setup. But it does have the three uh, modes on FM, which is nice. So it does have the expanded FM for the Russia and Japan. That is nice if you're into FM listening. Too bad it's not FM stereo on the headphone for the FM. But here nor there. <laughs> oh, by the way, this one has FM stereo on the radio. Okay, so comment below what you think about the X3 and subscribe if you're new and you like these type of reviews. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.